Welcome to the Shortwave Radio Channel, and um, just want to talk a little bit about the Sanjian HD R14 portable receiver that you see here. This is what I purchased and received, and this is HD radio. Um, and a lot of questions, of course, arise from uh, this uh, radio. So, uh, first of all, what is this? This is a receiver capable of receiving the North American HD. Uh, radio signals um, in North America, that's Canada, U.S., and Mexico. We have a type of HD which is uh, basically embedded in the same uh, carrier with the rest of the uh, signals on AM and FM. This radio um, and any radio that says our HD radios they are uh, capable of receiving only the North American uh, HD signals. This does not work in the rest of the world. Most of the rest of the world has adopted a different HD style, which is called DAB or DAB+. And that actually uses a different radio band. So that's the main difference between both, is that DAB uses a specific frequency range for digital signals where HD radio, like in North America, uses the same band, same frequencies. It's just that they embed a digital stream within the radio signal itself. And that is what gives you the HD sound. Now, it has, of course, um, advantages and, and, and a, a bad side to it. The advantage is when you can't get HD, it reverts to analog, which is nice because you not you don't miss out on any signal. Unlike DAB, if you if the signal gets too weak, it just drops out. The uh, other thing here that's interesting is uh, the fact that because it's embedded in a radio signal that already has a maximum bandwidth available, it doesn't necessarily have the best audio quality for HD. Now, I've had a few AM stations in HD, thanks to some uh, stations from... Uh, Philadelphia, for example, WPHT that came in crystal clear HD. Um, and it's kind of nice because, I mean, it gives some information, gives the call letters of the station. It can give you metadata, that's the song information and so on, whether, uh, whatever they want to broadcast. The um, stream does get real nice and very clear when you actually get HD clarity. And it does improve but it doesn't sound like, you know, uh, CD quality, and that, that's something you got to understand. On the FM side, it's better. On the FM, because the bandwidth is larger, um, there's some space for the streams, so you can have up to uh, three uh, different, if not four different streams. You can have the HD1 stream, HD2 stream, and so on. So what happens is on the display, it says HD, and if it says HD+, plus, then it's telling you that there's more than one stream to listen to on this frequency. Uh, I have several examples that uh, I have in the band, and actually I'll be showing that in uh, detail because I'll be uh, posting videos of how it works. You already have one if you want to check it out. Uh, well, I'm listening to WPHT Philadelphia, and at some point in the video, around a minute, something like a minute 30, minute 45, it actually locks on totally to the HD stream, and you see the shift in audio quality, and it's quite interesting uh, to listen to. So um, this is pretty much what it is. Um, like I said, the Sanjian HD R14 is made for North America HD. does not work for the rest of the world. The rest of the world adopts a different um, thing called DAB. Some might be actually also adopting DRM and DRM30. But um, unfortunately, to you know, there's no worldwide uh, standard that everybody uses. It's unfortunately just uh, once again, North America is one, and uh, the rest of the world is using something else. And even in the rest of the world, some are using DRM, some are using DAB. It's a big mess of nobody understanding no one. If you enjoy our videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.